Probably. All right, everybody, your workout for today. You guys have a two-parter, all right? Part one, you guys have a 50 ground to overhead. You have 100 weighted lunges. You have 50 lateral jump overs, all right? Now, your goal is to get through this as quickly as you can. So make sure you guys choose a weight that will allow you to move relatively well, something that you shouldn't have to stop maybe every five to six reps. You should be able to get more than that while you guys are going through it, all right? And then part two, you guys have core conditioning. This is a sprint ladder that you guys are trying to go through, going from five, 10, 15, 10, uh, five, and then you will be done all right your movements you have bicycle sit-ups you have candlesticks plank knee to opposite elbow and then you have a toe touches all right so just to show you what uh, part one looks like you have 50 ground to overhead so just like in your warm-up you're gonna hold your object and you're gonna rip it up um getting it all the way locked out overhead one smooth fluid motion from the ground all the way up all right um then you have uh your kettlebell same oh, i'm sorry yeah your kettlebell same thing just uh, make it nice and fluid all the way up towards the top same thing with your dumbbell as well all right then you have your 100 weighted lunges so you're going to hold whatever weight you have off of your chest step out to an angle get your back knee to kiss the ground and then you're going to go ahead and step back and alternate legs and doing that just make sure you keep your chest nice and tall and then you're actually stepping back with your lunges next you have the 50 lateral jump overs so whatever object you have that you can clear uh, you're going to go ahead and stand next to it jump sideways or from side to side if your object is too big then uh, maybe try a band, uh, tie a band to a tree or something like that. Um, if you don't have something to jump over, then just pretend there's an imaginary line on the ground and jump over that, all right? Make sure you're doing it sideways. Then your part two, you have a core conditioning that you guys are gonna go through, all right? As far as your movements go, you have bicycle sit-ups, all right? So you guys are gonna go ahead and get into a hollow body position. She's gonna have her heads behind her um, head, and all she's gonna do is she's gonna do a sit-up, and then she's gonna bring her elbow to her opposite knee each and every single time. A little pro tip here, make sure you guys do the sit-up first, and then tuck your knee, and then you'll be able to get that movement done. All right, next, you guys have candlesticks. Um, in that hollow body position, feet stay off the ground. She's gonna go ahead and swing the feet up, get the hips up as high as she can off the ground each and every single time, keeping those hands or arms off the ground. Next, you have your plank knee to opposite elbow. So she's gonna get into a high plank. She's gonna go ahead and keep the hips nice and uh, level with everything else and bring her knee to her opposite elbow each and every single time coming across her body. Make sure that you aren't swiveling too much, just bringing the knee up, all right? Uh, no break that's in here. Next, you have your toe touches. So you're gonna go ahead and get those feet elevated up above you. You're gonna have your shoulders slightly off the ground and you're gonna reach for those toes each and every single time. Hands come back down behind you and then they reach all the way back up at the top. All right, so that is going to be your workout for today. Have lots of fun. We'll see you next time. Peace.